Item number SCP-1128, Object Class, Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. Written descriptions or imagery of SCP-1128 appearance or videos of the entity breaching. See Addendum 1128-3. Found outside the Foundation are to be destroyed, and Class C amnestics are to be administered to anyone exposed to such information or showing signs of SCP-1128 contamination. A written description of the entity's appearance is to be kept at sight beep for experimental purposes only, and is not to be read by anyone other than the class used for testing. If exposed, staff are to report immediately for administration of Class C amnestics. Mobile Containment Force Kappa-12 has been assigned to intercept and redirect any and all water traffic that passes through their designated patrol area by any means necessary. See Addendum 1128-2. Description SCP-1128 is an entity that manifests as a massive aquatic predator to anyone given a full description of the being's appearance through either spoken or written descriptions or visual depictions of the being. Persons infected by SCP-1128 will initially exhibit no abnormal behavior though some cases show a general aversion to activities involving bodily immersion in water, such as bathing or swimming. Should subject ever be fully immersed in water, they will disappear completely under the surface of the water, regardless of the water's actual depth. In most cases, subjects will reappear moments later in a panicked state and frantically try to leave the water, while in some other cases, the water will become polluted with blood and debris confirmed to be the remains of the subject. Subjects that have reappeared intact claim that they were transported to a vast ocean where they were pursued by SCP-1128. Interviews of these individuals carry some risk of further SCP-1128 contamination as descriptions of the being's appearance trigger further infections. SCP-1128 infection can be treated with Class C amnestics, as a pierced memory of the entity or descriptions of it are required for its anomalous properties to take effect. Addendum 1128-1 Testing with infected D-Class have shown that while its communication devices function normally when used by submerged subjects affected by SCP-1128. See Interview 1128-Beep for details. Addendum 1128-2 Tracking devices affixed to D-Class used in SCP-1128 experiments reveal that submerged subjects are transported to an area within the Beep Ocean, not far from the coast of Redacted. Further investigations of these coordinates revealed the area to be data expunged. More containment force Kappa-12, Sea Devils, has been assigned to keep unauthorized seafaring vessels out of this area at all costs. Note, that's where we've been sending those D-Class. How does a short-range wireless communicator get such a clear signal from that far away? Dr. Beep. Addendum 1128-3 Test involving D-1732 who had been used for repeated SCP-1128 testing without administration of amnestics, was shown to be able to encounter the entity in bodies of water, normally insufficient for bodily immersion. This effect became more drastic over time, with D-1732 developing progressively stronger hydrophobic tendencies, claiming to see SCP-1128 from outside almost any body of water encountered by the subject. On beep, 20 beep, beep days after initial exposure, D-1732 was violently pulled into a glass of water by redacted. No remains were recovered from the incident. Staff witnessing the event were found to be infected by SCP-1128 and administered Class C amnestics. Containment procedures were then updated to include videos and descriptions of this event and testing involving extended infection of D-Class was terminated. Interview 1128 Beep Interviewed D-Beep Interviewer Dr. Beep Forward D-Beep was instructed to read from a small pamphlet 
describing SCP-1128 appearance, then was outfitted with diving gear and lowered into the large tub of water via wrench and cable. D. Beep's gear was outfitted with a wireless communication device to allow contact between himself and Dr. Beep, and to test if the SCP had any effect on such devices. The interview has been edited to remove hazardous information pertaining to SCP-1128. Begin log. D. Beep, can you hear me? Over. I hear you, Doc. Damn, this thing's deep. It looks so tiny from the outside. How well is your reception? Over. Good enough, I guess. Kind of fuzzy, but not enough that I can't hear what you're saying. What is your current status? Right now, I'm just sinking to the bottom of... It's just the ocean? How the hell do you fit the entire ocean inside a stinking bathtub? Irrelevant, d Beep. What are your surroundings? I just said ocean, damn it. There's fish and everything. Don't you guys know what the hell is inside your own... Oof! d Beep, what happened? I'm fine, I'm fine. I just hit bottom. It looks like I landed on a patch of seaweed or something. How are your surroundings? Seaweed mostly. Wait a sec. It gets thinner to my right. It looks like there may be a drop off that way. Should I go take a look? You may proceed. Okay. <clears throat> Damn! It's heavy. It's hard to move in this thing. Hey, is this thing soundproof? I hope my talking isn't scaring off of any. Oh my god! D beep! D beep! Respond! What's your status? I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't think it saw me. Damn. I think I pissed myself. What happened? What do you see? Scariest damn thing I've ever seen. Some kind of big ass. Description exacted. Wait a second. That's the thing from that stupid book leader gave me, isn't it? Affirmative. Please refrain from describing it any further. What is it doing? Nothing right now. It's just swimming along. I think it got something in its mouth. Is that a whale? Holy crap, it is. It's eating a whale. Oh god, look at those teeth. I think we're done here. Pour them out now. Thank you for your cooperation. We're bringing you up now. And now he swallowed it. Damn, that's gonna haunt my dreams. Wait, it's not moving. I think it sees me. Oh, God. It's looking right at me. It's headed this way. Oh, God. Help me. Get him out of there now. No. No. And log. Closing statement. Wrench was retracting at full speed when the cable went taut. It's the wrench from its mounting. Cable then went slack and water become polluted with blood, confirmed to be that of Deep Beep. No further remains or equipment were recovered. Interview log and relevant documents were edited for vectors, and all staff present were treated with Class C amnestics. Experiment Log 1128 Experiment Log 1 Date Beep Procedure D-Class exposed to SCP-1128 outfitted with diving gear and communication device, then lowered into tub of water. Result. See interview 1128 beep. Experiment Log 2. Procedure. D-Class exposed to SCP-1128 and equipped with scuba gear placed into a standard protective shock cage and lowered into water. Result. No response for approximately beep seconds. Then line went taut and was suffered at a point beneath the water. Remains of D-Class as well as jagged steel fragments, presumably remnants of the cage, surfaced shortly after. Experiment Log 3. Same as above. K each treated with SCP beep to increase durability. Result, same as above. No remains surfaced. Notes. Beep hours later, MCFC devils reported finding an intact shark cage floating beneath the surface of a patrol area near one of their vessels. 
item was retrieved and confirmed to match the description of cage used in experiment 1128A3. Cage was undamaged but bore traces of human DNA and feces of indeterminate origin. No further remains of D-Class found. Experiment Log 4 Exposed D-Class equipped with diving gear and armed with redacted for use against hostile organisms. Unlike previous tests, subject was also equipped with live feed video camera attached to his helmet. Result, video feed shows weapon was ineffective against SCP-1128, appearing only to invade the creature rather than harm it considerably or drive it away. Feed was lost when D-Class was devoured. Staff involved treated with amnestics following transcription of video feed. Experiment Log 5 Exposed D-Class equipped with protective environment suit and video feed lowered into the vat of redacted to test SCP-1128 manifestation in liquids other than water. Substance chosen for its low density allowing free movement similar to walking on open air. Result, D-Class recovered without incident. Liquid did not trigger SCP-1128's effect. Note, Okay, so you might be safe from the thing in liquids other than water, but that probably won't help you much unless you intended to drink and bathe in exotic chemicals for the rest of your life, which probably would get a lot shorter if you tried that, Dr. Beep. 